Hi, today I'm going to be making Katrina Shrink plastic earrings. For materials, I'll be using my design, a black sheet of paper, white and transparent shrink plastic, Prismacolor colored pencils in pink and purple, tiny sequins or glitter, earring posts, Prismacolor fine liners, a hole puncher, scissors, round pliers, flat pliers, protective wear, UV resin, a strong glue, an UV lamp, and metal hoops. I'm going to be tracing the skull and the bones into the matte side of my white shrink plastic with a light pink that is easy to erase, making sure to leave enough space for the holes. Since the white plastic isn't translucent, I traced the shapes into a paper that was first, and I used that as a mold. I traced the papel picado pieces into the transparent shrink plastic. For this design, I needed to have four papel picado pieces in purple, and I need two in Mexican pink. All third, I did four of each, since I wanted to make some papel picado earrings too. I would consider these pieces to be some of the most time consuming to make out of all my earrings, even though they don't look like it. For the coloring part, I just feel the inside area of the pink and the purple pieces I made earlier, being careful not to feel the cut out parts. I also added some simple shadows with a darker purple and a darker pink to give a little extra dimension. For the sugar curl parts, I cut them out first and then I carefully erase the pink tracing lines. This is on the back of the earring, but it can stay in the front if you leave them. Then, with the help of my mold, I trace the marks for the eye sockets and nose on the shiny side of the shrink plastic with a black Prismacolor fine liner. Once I have my marks, I start drawing two circles for the eye shapes and an upside down heart for the nose. For the mouth, I do what I can only describe as incorrect anatomy to give the effect. And once I'm done with that, I take a purple marker to create flower shapes around the eyes. Sugar skulls can have many different colors and designs, but I kept it quite simple. I also used green to make some leaf shapes. I cut all of my papel picado pieces individually so I don't risk ruining them if I make a mistake. And I make the holes before cutting the shape of the papel picado. 
because it's easier this way. It's kind of difficult to cut these shapes because there are a lot of rounded corners. But if you're careful and do it slowly, you won't have any problems. For the sugar skull parts, I did the holes first before cutting the shapes too. I used to do this at the end, but I always ruined my pieces when punching the holes. Now it's time for baking. I put my tiny oven on 120 celsius for 10 minutes, but I don't leave it there for all that time, I take them out as on as they finish on curling. If you notice that your pieces aren't on curling, you can take a flat surface and press them so they uncurl but do it before they harden, because if they are already hard, you will break your pieces. It's something you have to see and learn for yourself, what works for your oven and your material. Before putting the resin coat, I took some strong glue to paste the tiny sequins on the eyes, because real sugar schools have colorful sequins for eyes. I only have silver sequins, but it works. <laughs> And they look cute. Using gloves, mask and eye protection on a ventilated area, I lay one drop of EV resin on each skull and I use a silicone dropper to move it around the whole piece, being careful on the whole area. And then I introduce them to my UV lamp. I do the same with the rest of the pieces. I leave everything under the lamp for about 60 seconds and then I leave them in the sunshine to remove the rest of the tackiness. Then I use strong glue to paste the earring post on the back of the skulls and I add a coat of resin on top. I repeat the same curing process as before. While that cures, I'm going to start putting the pieces together. I take three pieces of papel picado and attach them into the larger bone with small silver hoops. I put a pink one in the middle and two purple ones on the sides. I 
I'm kind of clumsy, so I did most of this out of frame because I needed it to be closer to my eyes. But I did what I could with the footage I got. After that, I used a medium sized hoop to attach the smaller bone to the bigger one. I made some extra pieces, so I did some papel picado earrings too, but this time I used earring hooks and gold materials. Now that the bags are cured, I'm going to use a medium sized hoop to attach it to the top of the small bone. I help myself with some flat and round pliers to open and close the hoops. Gato! And here are the results. They turned out very pretty. I think this is the time that I've made them that they look better and more polished. I hope you like them too, and if you happen to want them, <laughs> you can find them on my Etsy store on the description box. And yes, I did this makeup just for this video and washed it off immediately after because it was extremely uncomfortable. Thank you for watching and see you the next time.